everybody. I'm going to show you an example of what's called a counterfeit capacitor. See, back in the early 2000s, a lot of Chinese crap cat manufacturers who stole a flaw of formula tried to uh, make up every way possible to still sell their products. And of course, Rubicon capacitors are high quality Japanese capacitors. Notice here, this one says Rubicon. It's a 16 volt, 1200 microfarad capacitor. Notice the K top on it. If you can see. Notice this capacitor is black. Notice the font that Rubicon is made in. Notice the design of this. The negative stripe going down the side of it. Okay. Now let's have a look at this capacitor. You may think at first it's a Rubicon, but have a close look. Here, I'll help you out a little bit. Let's zoom in a little bit. Have a look at this. Rulicon. Yeah, Rulicon. Oh, uh, this one says Rubicon. Have a close side by side comparison. Rulicon and Rubicon. Notice Rulicon and Rubicon. The Rubicon is a genuine, high quality Japanese capacitor, and the Rubicon is a, ch a cheap crap knockoff. Notice the bulging top. I don't know if you, you may have noticed that video I put up recently about that Allied power supply failing, failing after um, maybe uh, just 8 hours of use, 8 to 10 hours of use. Of course, the power supply got used for that amount of time and it's sat in the closet in the computer system for a few months. And these Rulicon capacitors zoom back out here. We'll grab them all. I pulled out five Rulicon capacitors. Of course this one here I believe was the culprit one because it has a bulge top. All five of these were Rulicons. The rest were Jun Fu's which is another not as good, I mean not so good brand but nothing compared, I mean Nothing compared to the crap quality of these Rulicons. And of course I recapped, I replaced the Rulicons with one John Fu that I pulled out of a different power supply and some Jamicons. And that power supply is working just fine. So anyways, if you're ever sifting through some capacitors, watch out. Make sure it says Rubicon, not Rulicon. I mean, put them all together, you couldn't, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference, would you? Notice the K tops. They look almost alike. Anyways, that's an example of a counterfeit capacitor. Any questions or comments, let me know.